Good evening. This is Apostle Venetia Adams with Continuing Truth Ministries. And it's always a pleasure to be before you on tonight to come into your homes, hallelujah, to give you a word from God, hallelujah. And we just give God all the praise and the glory because God is so good and he's so wonderful to be praised. And we just thank God for all that he is doing in our lives, hallelujah. We thank him for all that he is doing in our lives. And on tonight, hallelujah, the word of God is always uh, a serious matter. The word of God is never to be taken lightly. The word of God is never to be played with, hallelujah, or even, hallelujah, to minimize, hallelujah, the depth of what God is trying to say to us uh, each and every time we come together. Glory be to God, because every time we come together, it's the gathering, hallelujah, of spiritual minds, hallelujah. And that's what Continuing Truth is about, hallelujah, the gathering of spiritual minds so that we can hear what the Lord is telling us on tonight glory be to god and on tonight my brothers and sisters my friends hallelujah um last night and this morning um i asked the lord concerning some things about me and the state of his people glory be to god because you know as well as i know that um there's a lot going on in the world, hallelujah. There, there, there's been some um, um, things that's within uh, the scope of the United States that is clearly out of our control. Um, but nevertheless, hallelujah, I ask the Lord to talk to me and tell me the state, hallelujah, of his people, hallelujah. And all I could hear our father uh, say was, guard your hearts, guard your souls, hallelujah. Guard your souls, hallelujah. And you remember uh, on Wednesday night Bible study, Golden Nuggets Bible study, I told you that the, the Lord had told me something and I wrote it down. And this is what uh, he told me. And this is Wednesday, January the 6th, uh, 2021. He said, it is not my desire that any man should perish. Perish meaning to waste away to nothing. Disappear and drown in your, in your own folly or even your own vomit. Hallelujah. God said that is not his desire that any man should perish. And then when I asked him, I said, well, Lord, I said, what else? I mean, I need for you to give me a depth, an in-depth word, a meaning of perish. I said, because so much is going on. And he said, perish meaning to consume with worry, consumed about money, power, or status, consumed to the point where one will do anything for love, power, or even attention, consumed with loneliness and grief, consumed in misery where you take out your misery on others. Glory be to God. Consumed with working uh, uh, with people that are around you uh, and working them almost into a frenzy uh, because of your health, hallelujah, is not, not the best, hallelujah, and, and the condition that you're in, hallelujah, you're taking your frustrations out on other people, hallelujah, and so he said even the consumption of mental, mental conditions, hallelujah, because, hallelujah, God said it's not his desire that any man should perish. He doesn't want any man to perish. So playing the poor me card or even walking in uh, so much as pride that others can can smell the pride before you even reach them or they know about your prideful manner is a stench in God's nostrils. And he said, it's funny. I said, what's funny, Lord? He said, it's funny how so many are looking for love and things and people until they don't even believe me when I tell them I love them. I said, oh, okay. Just because I'm a spirit, and this is what God is telling me, just because I'm a spirit does not mean that I don't, don't feel uh, their pain and hear their cries of help. 
I'm told, uh, uh, I've told them and I've shown them my hand of love all the years of their lives and they shall and they still, hallelujah, will not serve me in totality. I said, oh God, help. God said, I will not suffer thy foot to slip because I love you so much that I gave my life for you and will continue to protect you. This is what God is saying to us on tonight. This is what he told me to tell you. It's because of man's greed that many are consumed. You see this every day in your homes, workplace, and even playing out, uh, is playing out in your countries, hallelujah. Yet you play with fire and expect me to quench out the out of control self-made fires, but I am God. And because of my unconditional love for you, my unwavering hand towards you, I will rise up like a phoenix and remove the clutter of hatred and bigotry among those whose hearts are continually wicked before me. But I warn thee, thou must allow me to create in you a clean heart. If you are truly Love, and if you truly love me, follow me and learn of me, for my yoke is easy and my burdens are light. You can attest to this because you are still living. Have not my hand kept you alive and well thus far? Have not my hand been that hedge of protection for you and your families and loved ones? Open your eyes and know that I am God. Moses asked the question to me saying, who shall I say that send me? What is your name? Who are you? Once again, my answer is, I am that I am. You want your bodies healed. You want your finances to overflow in abundance, your desires to come to pass. Well, for these things to happen, tell me, tell me this can you honestly say that you will drop your agenda and follow me and worship me, learn of me in spirit and in truth? Will you stop and cast down your imaginations long enough to hear from me and recognize my voice when I want to speak to you so badly? So I wait and have waited for thousands of years. My return will be swift. My wrath, but for a moment. But I will no longer allow the adversary Satan to ravish my people any longer. Watch out. The days will come darker to most, but you, my children, will be able to walk in the spirits of light. Watch out. You will see many people rising up, but know that I, know that the arm of your God is mighty and I will protect you. Many will be called in these last days and you will have to make a choice as to who you will serve. No more will I prod you to love me. Either you will choose me or not. My arms have been covered, have covered this earth and will continue to cover it. In the days to come, watch with much fear and trembling, but know that I am with thee. Your programs and your platforms of fashions, all other manners to improve your look does not impress me, but it impresses you. In the days to come, many will be looking for food and shelter and many a safe haven to rest their weary souls. Be ye ready and consume yourselves, not of this world, but of me. Your necessities will be provided, for they have always been provided. If you, uh, for any reason, you feel that I am not worthy of you, then choose you this day who you will serve. I'm here and will always be here for all who want to come under my wings. I love you and be ready for battle. Battle for your minds, battle for your families, battle for your children, and above all, battle for your souls. If there is anything that is within your soul that is not of me, rid it now. Rid it now. For the days will come when the bridegroom comes for his bride, and those that are ready will find peace. Make sure your lamps of salvation are filled with oil. I'm that all, Christ, Christo, 
that all that ran down Aaron's beard, I am that all. Thus saith the Lord. Hallelujah. And he gave this to me at 1.34 p.m. January the 10th, 2021. And when he told me to go back, hallelujah, he said, look at the time. And I looked at the time. And I said, Lord, it's 1.34 p.m. He said, add the numbers. I said, they equal out to eight. He said, eight is a new beginning. Glory be to God. God is talking to us in this hour. Hallelujah. God has been talking to us all along. And he wants us, hallelujah, to be ready, like he said, for battle. Battling, hallelujah, for our souls. Hallelujah. Battling for our families. Hallelujah. And you know what? The only way that we are going to get through this, let me tell you, saints. Let me tell you, beloved. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles right now, turn to... Hallelujah. Turn to Psalms 51. Turn to Psalms 51 quickly, quickly. Turn to Psalms 51. Turn to Psalms 51. And of course, this is a Psalm of David. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And if we start at, hallelujah, the first verse. David is crying out, hallelujah, to God. And he said, have mercy upon me, O God, according to thy loving kindness, according unto the multitude of thy tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against thee, thee only, have I sinned and none this evil in thy sight, that thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be clear when thou judgest. Behold, I was shaped in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, thou desirest truth in the inner parts, and in the hidden part thou shalt make me no wisdom. That's uh, in the mind, to know wisdom in the mind. Glory be to God. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness that the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. Hide thy face from my sin and block out my iniquities. David even goes on to say, create in me a clean heart. O oh God. And renew a right spirit within me. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Then David goes on and he says, Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Then I will teach transgressors thy ways, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of thy righteousness. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise, for thou desirest not sacrifice, else would I give it. Thou delightest not in birth offerings. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit and a broken and contrite heart. O God, thou wilt not despise. Do good in thy pleasure unto Zion. Build thou the walls of Jerusalem. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall thou offer bullocks upon thy altar. Glory be to God. Beloved, hallelujah. In these ends of the end times, it is essential, hallelujah, that we, hallelujah, Get our hearts 
clean and ask the Lord to create in us a clean heart. You and I both know, hallelujah, that transgressions have come, hallelujah, towards me, across me, as well as to you. You and I both know that many have done you wrong, hallelujah, and have done things to me as well. But God is looking for a penitent spirit. God is looking for us to forgive. God is looking for us, hallelujah, to be steadfast and unmovable, hallelujah. God is looking for us, hallelujah, to always acknowledge him in all thy ways and he will direct our path. God is looking, hallelujah, hallelujah, for you, hallelujah, not to lead to your own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Well, God, if I have to do all of that, then what about my five senses? They're just that. To see, smell, touch, hear, hallelujah, and taste, hallelujah. And we need to see the enemy, hallelujah. We need to be able to hear the enemy, hallelujah. We can even smell the stench of sin, hallelujah, when we come, hallelujah, and we need to speak, hallelujah, against that, hallelujah, which is not of God. Those five senses are for those things, just what I have mentioned. And when we give God and come to God with a contrite spirit, a broken spirit, hallelujah, he is well able and he will, David said, he will not turn you away. So now, why is all the messages, hallelujah, dear Lord God, every time I turn on this, that, and the other, glory be to God, it's about sin, 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 honey, because sin is around you. Don't you know that spirits are transferable? Do you not know, hallelujah, that all the things that are going on in the world, the rumors of wars, the threats of wars, the threats, hallelujah, that are coming against this country? Hallelujah. That it, it has an impact, hallelujah, on those that dwell within. And God is saying, don't be moved. Be steadfast, hallelujah, and look to me, the author and finisher of your faith. For I have never left you. This is what he said. This is what I just got through reading. I have never left you, nor have I ever forsaken you. I will take care of you. I will provide for you. Have I not provided for you since your conception until today? Yes, you've had some hard times. We all have. Join the club. But when I look back over my life, hallelujah, and when you look back over your you should be able to truly say, if it had not been for God on my side, where would I be? And these coming days, hallelujah, when God is asking us to give and have a clean heart, hallelujah, he's talking about a clean soul, hallelujah. So whatever is in your soul, jealousy, hallelujah, anything that's pertaining to Galatians 5, 19, 20, and 21, hallelujah, body, mind, and soul sins, hallelujah, let's get rid of it now, hallelujah, because the battle, the battle is the Lord's, yes. But you have everything, hallelujah, to do with the finishing of that battle. To make sure and ensure that you are on the side of the Lord, hallelujah. Do I have anyone, hallelujah, that's on the Lord's side on tonight? Are you on the Lord's side tonight? Glory be to God. If you're on the Lord's side, I just want you to clap your hands. Give him a clap, hallelujah. I just want you to clap, hallelujah. I'm on the Lord's side. I know who has my back, hallelujah. I'm on the Lord's side. I'm his child, glory be to God. Um, he's looking after me, hallelujah. I don't have to worry, hallelujah. I don't have to have insomnia anymore, hallelujah. I don't have to just worry about nothing, hallelujah. God got me, hallelujah. He's been having me, dear Lord God. Uh, I may not have recognized you before, dear Lord God, uh, but I'm recognizing you now, dear Lord God, uh, because you've been having me, dear Lord God. Uh, even when I was in my mess, dear Lord God, even when I was sinking, hallelujah, in an earthquake, Hallelujah. In that quick saying, dear Lord God, you always had me, dear Lord God. You always had me. Yes, I've been hurt. Hallelujah. But you've always had me, dear Lord God. And for this, I want to say thank you, dear Lord God. I want to 
come into your gates with thanksgiving. I want to enter your courts with praise, the Lord God. I want to thank you, the Lord God, for you being there. I want to thank you for being my Jehovah Jireh. I want to thank you for being everything that I need. I want to thank you, the Lord God. Don't let your hands get tired now. Hallelujah. Keep clapping. Hallelujah. And give God a hand of praise. Glory be to God. He's been merciful towards us. He's been so merciful towards us. And in these days to come, hallelujah, he's going to be even merciful, hallelujah. You need not worry about the, the things that are going on in this world, honey. Worry about your soul, glory, hallelujah. Where will it go, hallelujah? Can you find rest right here in earth? Yes, hallelujah. You have heaven right here in the earth, hallelujah. If you have the spirit of the living God that's living in, inside of you, that's heaven, the kingdom has come, hallelujah. If you don't have the Holy Spirit, cry out to the Lord and ask him to fill you, hallelujah, so that you, hallelujah, can have peace that surpasses all understanding, hallelujah. Why this world is going astray, hallelujah. Why this world is trying to orchestrate war, hallelujah. We can be in peace, hallelujah. Because the God that we serve, hallelujah, got our backs, hallelujah. The God that we serve, hallelujah, has been so merciful towards us, surely, hallelujah, we can give him a praise. Surely we can say thank you, God. Hallelujah. I'm not just talking about for food, shelter, and clothing. I'm talking about for, for being in your right mind. I'm talking about having the activities of your limbs. Hallelujah. I'm talking about from keeping all hurt, harm, and danger for you while you're sleeping slumber at night. That's what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. I'm talking about giving you a mind. Hallelujah. To even serve him. Glory be to God. Oh, yes, we have some issues going on. We may have some issues in our bodies. We may have loved ones in the hospital. Yes, 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 yes. COVID-19 is still, hallelujah, affecting everybody. There's deaths everywhere, hallelujah. We get notifications of this person dying, that person dying, this, that, and the other. But, honey, if you still here on in this earth, God is giving you, hallelujah, such precious time. Don't waste it. Don't waste it, hallelujah. Don't waste it, hallelujah, because you have ants in your pants. You want to go here. You want to go there. You want to get out. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. I want to have fun. This is another. You can have fun right there in your house. You can have fun with the places where you go. And what kind of fun are you talking about? Because if it's fun in the darkness, that ain't fun. If it's fun, hallelujah, to whereas you're doing things that is going against the word of God, that's not fun. That's suicide. Spiritual suicide. So now I'm telling you, oh God, and I'm letting you know that God, hallelujah, is for you, hallelujah. He's the author and the finisher of your faith. Hallelujah. So serve him with everything that you have. Serve him. Hallelujah. With the clapping of your hands. The jumping in your feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The moving of your shoulders. Hallelujah. And the praise that will be on your lips. And that's on your lips all day. Every day. Hallelujah. Every morning that you wake up. Glory be to God. Is a blessed day, hallelujah, because he gives us brand new mercies. What is mercy? What is mercy, hallelujah? Mercy, hallelujah. Have mercy on your people's Lord, please, hallelujah. Give us another chance, hallelujah. Have mercy, hallelujah. Even when I was in wrong, knew wrong, knew I was doing wrong. You gave me mercy, Lord. You still kept me another day. You still kept me another hour. You still kept me, dear Lord God. Merciful God. 
Can you understand how merciful he is and will continue to be for those who have a praise on their lips, for those who account him, hallelujah, as their Lord and their Savior? David said, create in me a clean heart and renew the right spirit within me. Hallelujah. Let me go back over that scripture one more time because God just gave me another revelation. He said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. A right spirit within me. Not just any spirit, a right spirit within me. A hallelujah. Which means the A hallelujah. Not only for Alpha, who was the first, but a right spirit, hallelujah, not the right spirit, a right spirit, which can only come from you, hallelujah, because you are the author and finisher of my faith. Good God Almighty. A right spirit, hallelujah. Why are you scared, hallelujah? Why are you, you worrying? Why? Because God did not give us a spirit of fear, but love, joy, and of a what? Sound mind. A sound mind. And if you're fearful, and if you're wavering, hallelujah, and if you're going through all manners of things, maybe God's trying to tell you something. Maybe he's trying to reposition you, hallelujah. Maybe he's trying to tell you you got to get rid of this. Maybe he's telling you you got to serve me more. Maybe he's telling you to turn off the TV, hallelujah. Get down on your knees and pray to me more, hallelujah. Maybe he's telling you to reposition yourself. Maybe he's telling you to stop doing what you're doing, hallelujah. Maybe he's telling you to get it right, hallelujah. Maybe he's telling you, look, I know a better way. You can do it this way hallelujah you don't have to go that way go this way hallelujah oh my god how would you know how would you know how would you know unless you seek his face seek ye first the kingdom of god and its righteousness and all other things shall be added unto you it shall be added I'm a living testimony to that. It shall be added. Hallelujah. Every day he adds not only mercy, but every day, hallelujah, he gives me wisdom. Hallelujah. Every day he lets me know, hallelujah, the differences between right and wrong, what to say, not to say, when to say, how to say. Mm, every day he's teaching. Hallelujah. Every day. He's talking, hallelujah. Are you listening, hallelujah? You got to turn the plate down, hallelujah. Hallelujah, glory be to God. My, uh, a friend of mine works for Do DoorDash, hallelujah, where they pick up food and bring it to people's homes, hallelujah, who don't want to go uh, out of their homes, glory be to God. So while you're there, hallelujah, in your homes, hallelujah, are you worshiping God? Are you listening to music of Zion? Glory be to God. Give God what I'm telling you on tonight. Set aside a time to worship God. Glory be to God. Set aside a time to worship him. Hallelujah. I saw a book the other day that says a, a one minute w a break with God. I, I, I don't know how you can give him a minute, but uh, I have to give him more than a minute. Because cause by the time I get through jumping and shouting, hallelujah, glory be to God, when I think about, hallelujah, what he's done for me and all that he's done for me, I can't help but say thank you, God, hallelujah, dear Lord God. I can't think, yes, I have memories, hallelujah, of loved ones that's going on, this, that, and other, but I don't stay there, hallelujah. I don't stay there and wallow, hallelujah, in things that I cannot do, hallelujah, because God have a set time for everybody, and no man knows, hallelujah, the hour in which he, he will come. No man knows, hallelujah, not even the angels in heaven will know his return. Now, but since I have and I'm still here in this earth, glory be to God, I am going to give him his praise. And that that I can do from home. Glory be to God. I'm going to work in the kingdom. I'm going to work in the kingdom. How can you do that? Apostle, how can you do that? 
Are you calling someone that's sick, checking on them? Are you praying for those? Are you interceding for those who need inter inter intercession? Hallelujah. There's many things that you can do. Hallelujah. If you don't, if you, if you don't have anything to do, hallelujah, contact us. Hallelujah. You, we, we, can, we can train you in reading stories, hallelujah, to children, this, that, and other. Because you do know that we have a children's line with children's stories. Hallelujah. I was just sitting on the couch today with my grands. Hallelujah. And, and letting them look at the, at the videos. Hallelujah. And hear and look. And all they say, oh, and I and this and another. There are times, hallelujah, that you can gather your grandchildren together or your children together and say, we're going to have uh, 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 just a reading of the word, hallelujah. And let us give God some time, hallelujah. Let us pray, hallelujah. Teach your children how to pray, hallelujah. And hallelujah, if you don't know how to pray, hallelujah, and you don't know what to say, dear Lord God, get on a prayer line with us, hallelujah, on Monday nights at 7 p.m., hallelujah. And hear the prayers of Zion, hallelujah. Hear the prayers of the intercessors, dear Lord God. You mean to tell me, hallelujah, pray for somebody, hallelujah, that can't pray for themselves. Pray for somebody who don't know the pardoning of their sins, that Jesus is a pardoning of their sins. Pray for those in the prison, hallelujah. Pray for those in ICU, hallelujah. Pray for those, hallelujah, that's walking the street homeless. Pray for those, hallelujah, that have lost their job. Pray for those, hallelujah, that still, hallelujah, are still doing all manners of evil, hallelujah, even at a young age or even at an old age, hallelujah. Pray for those who are foolish in their decisions, hallelujah. Pray for those, hallelujah, that need a prayer. Oh, there's many. There's much to be due still. A much to be done in the kingdom. God created me a clean heart. And when God started doing it, and if you say those words, despise not how he does it. Despise not how he does it. Hallelujah. Despise not how he does it. Because he knows what's best for you. Glory be to God. God said on January the 6th, 2021, he said, it is not my desire that any man perish. He said, I don't want you to be consumed with worry. I don't want you to be consumed with finances. I don't want you to be consumed, hallelujah, hallelujah, and perish because of the consumption of worry, because of the consumption, hallelujah, of, of, of worrying and, and, and being, hallelujah, uh, saying all manners of evils, consumed, hallelujah, and you perish because of this consumption, hallelujah. If you have members or persons in your family that don't want to do right, you do right. If you have members in your family that don't want to will say, say things and don't want to curb their tongue, this, that, and other, I guarantee you, if you start praying more in that house, hallelujah, and anointing them walls and those doorposts, this, that, and other, Satan got to flee. He must flee. Because he can't stand your praise. He can't stand you worshiping God. He can't stand your decision to work or worship God. He can't stand to know, hallelujah, that you're on your knees praying. He can't stand to see that, hallelujah. So what he'll do? He'll use anyone and anybody, any circumstances, hallelujah, to get you thrown off, hallelujah. So that you'll be tired and worn out, hallelujah, to ways you can't even lift your hands. But the devil is a lie. I come to tell you tonight, the devil is a lie, hallelujah. you got to be steadfast. Do not give up now, hallelujah. I don't care what you see out there in that world. I know things are going on, hallelujah, at, 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 at the Capitol and whatever. But God said, keep your eyes and look to the hills which come with your what? Help. And all your help comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. Look to the hills was coming your help. And all your help cometh from the Lord. All your help cometh from the Lord. Glory be to God. And before we leave on tonight, praise the Lord. I want you, hallelujah, to just reflect, hallelujah, on some things, hallelujah, that God has brought you through. He didn't have to do it, but he did. And I can remember, hallelujah, hallelujah, and I'm not, hallelujah, I'm going to apologize, hallelujah, for what, hallelujah, how it may sound, hallelujah. 
But I know the Lord said, make a joyful noise unto me. Hallelujah. Make a joyful noise unto me. And I can remember as a, a young child growing up, hallelujah, and the choir used to sing, and you know this song. Shine on me, oh, shine on me. Let the light from the lighthouse shine on me. From the lighthouse, shine, shine on, shine on me. Oh, come, let us adore him. Him Christ the Lord. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore him Christ the Lord. Oh, come, come to him right now. Let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come. Adore Him, Christ the Lord. That's what He wants us to do. Adore Him. Hallelujah. He's not a baby anymore. Hallelujah. But to adore Him for the majesty that He walks in. Adore him, hallelujah, for he is great and mighty. Adore him, hallelujah, because he's the one, hallelujah, that fights our banners, our battles, hallelujah. He's Jehovah Nisi. He's our banner, hallelujah. He covers us, hallelujah. Adore him for who he is in your life, hallelujah. Adore him for who he is in your life, hallelujah. If your children are going astray, hallelujah, and they're kicking up all kinds of things, wife, husband, job, whomever, whatever, give it to God. Lay it at his feet, hallelujah. And don't you pick it back up. Because this battle is not yours. It's the Lord. The battle you have to fight, hallelujah, is the battle for your soul. Pray for your children, hallelujah. Cry out to the Lord for those, hallelujah, that you love, hallelujah. Those who may be incarcerated, mothers who are left alone. Some people have no family at all, hallelujah. 
But nevertheless, we can call on the Lord, hallelujah, who is our friend. Glory be to God. He is our friend, hallelujah. He said, no longer do I call you brothers and sisters, but I call you friends. Because I will lay down my life for you. Has he not laid his life down for you already? Must he die a second time? Through your actions, hallelujah. Must you, must you con continue to, hallelujah, criticize him? Hallelujah. For those things that you think that he should do and has not done. Hallelujah. God is great. God is good. God is perfect. Hallelujah. It's we that needs to get ourselves, hallelujah, in the right position for God. So come, let us adore him, hallelujah. Let us give him everything we have, hallelujah. Press toward the mark of a higher calling, which is in Christ Jesus. Do you know what that mark is? Salvation. Do you know what that mark is? Hallelujah. Contentment. Do you know what that mark is? Power. Do you know that mark in everything that Jesus walked in, pressed toward that mark? Which is in a higher calling. Everybody can walk inside of Christ. Everybody has not been called, hallelujah. Everybody has not been chosen, hallelujah. But we, we have been chosen, hallelujah. So therefore, give him everything that you have. And he will, hallelujah, reward you openly. And the one thing that I like about God, hallelujah, sometimes, hallelujah, we look at others, hallelujah, and we wonder how they do this and how they do that. Don't even be concerned about it. Be concerned about you, hallelujah. Stay, hallelujah, in your front yard, hallelujah, backyard on the side, stay in your place, and you make sure that you're in a right position with God, because God will never fail you, and the Bible says, his word says, he will not withhold any good thing to those who walk upright in him, thus saith the Lord, hallelujah, <laughs> I pray, glory to God, that this word, hallelujah, has blessed you. I pray that this word, glory to God, will keep you. I pray that this word, hallelujah, the word for God, hallelujah, letting us know that he has our back. He, his arms are not so short that he can't cover, hallelujah, this entire universe. Glory be to God. I pray, hallelujah, that you will heed to God's word, hallelujah. I pray, glory to God, that you will make, hallelujah, and about face, hallelujah, to serve the true and the living God, hallelujah, that has manifested himself mightily through you and to you, hallelujah. I pray, hallelujah, that you allow God to clean your heart, hallelujah, from all unrighteousness and all sin, hallelujah. I pray, hallelujah, that you will give God, hallelujah, a chance if you've never given him a chance before. Give him a chance right now, hallelujah. Hallelujah. To make himself known to you. Hallelujah. Further. Hallelujah. Bigger. Hallelujah. Because he's a big God. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. He's all encompassing. Hallelujah. I pray. Hallelujah. That you will allow Jesus. Hallelujah. Who is the author and the finisher of your face. Hallelujah. He that has begun a good work in you. Let him continue to do it until the end. So we praise you. And we glorify. And we come in the Lord God. Hallelujah. Adoring you for who you are. Because you are so worthy. And you are so mighty. And don't you ever forget. God knows your name. Hallelujah. God knows your name. Hallelujah. When others try to forget who you are. Hallelujah. God knows your name. Hallelujah. God knows your name, and when he calls your name, hallelujah, you will answer, and it ain't got to be on your deathbed either, honey, because I was sitting at my dining room table one Sunday night, and God called my name, and I was looking all around to see who else was in the room, because I was the only one there, so when he calls your name, you gonna answer, 
So give him a righteous response. Hallelujah. Give him a righteous response. Glory be to God. This is Apostle Venetia Adams with Continuing Truth Ministry. Hallelujah. And I just pray that you will continue to walk up the king's highway. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The road is narrow, but don't be phased. Hallelujah. About how many is on the road. You just keep looking to the hills which cometh your help. Knowing that all your help cometh from the Lord. And I'm taking this time right now, glory be to God, for those who would like to become members, followers, workers, hallelujah, friends, hallelujah, of Continuing Truth Ministries, do so, hallelujah. Make haste and do so, hallelujah. Because God is really moving, hallelujah, in Continuing Truth Ministries. And I don't take it lightly. Because when much is given, much is required, hallelujah. And there is, hallelujah, a great weight, hallelujah, in this time. Glory be to God, excuse me. In this time, because God, hallelujah, you're going to see all manners of things. Did he not say, do not worry about the things that you will see and, and witness in this world in the days to come. But know that I am with you. Glory be to God. Know that I am with you. Glory be to God. Ministers of the gospel, my friends, hallelujah, God's faithful, hallelujah, God's children, hallelujah. Give God a righteous response, hallelujah, in saying yes to his will and yes to his way. For God, hallelujah, is worthy to be praised and God is worthy to worship. God is worthy, hallelujah, for you, hallelujah. God has called you out of millions of people. He called your name. Hallelujah. It's not by accident, glory be to God, that you're looking. Hallelujah. And witnessing this on tonight. It's not by accident. God called your name. Hallelujah. He told you what to do, when to do, and how to do it. So therefore, give him a righteous response. After hearing this message, give him a righteous response. Once again, hallelujah, we do have a children's line. It's on YouTube, hallelujah. They can see the children videos, hallelujah, this and another. And they're bedtime stories for your children, hallelujah. This is a time for encompassing family, hallelujah. If you haven't spoken to sister in 15 years, call her and get it straight. If you haven't spoken to brother in, in years, call brother and get it straight. You make that effort, hallelujah. You extend that olive branch, glory be to God. Just make sure that your soul, hallelujah, is pure and your intent towards those persons are pure, hallelujah, and they're righteous, hallelujah. Forgive right now, forgive, hallelujah. You pray to ask the Lord to forgive you. So who are you to shut up your vows to forgive someone else, hallelujah. There are things, hallelujah, that's that you have placed back in your mind and in the crypts of your mind, hallelujah, and you have buried, hallelujah, memories. You have buried, hallelujah, emotions. You have buried things in the in the crevices of your mind. So whereas you said that you would never think about them, you would never uh, even ponder on them anymore. And God said, let it go, hallelujah. Get in those crevices, hallelujah, and just rehash, hallelujah, and rethink those things and say, God, I missed it. Please forgive me. Whatever it is that I've missed. <laughs> I need for you, dear Lord God, to cleanse me and create in me a clean heart, dear Lord God, and renew a right spirit within me so that I can please you, dear Lord God, so that I will be a sweet smelling savor to your nostrils. Hallelujah. Give him that righteous response. And God will forever, hallelujah. I will forever give you the praise and the glory because you're worthy to be praised, hallelujah. Ah, tears of joy, hallelujah, are coming right now, hallelujah. Because you don't know, hallelujah, what some people have been, hallelujah. You don't know, hallelujah, what people are experiencing now, hallelujah. You don't have no idea. 
the depths of pain that people are going through. Glory be to God. But God does. And those of us who can pray a prayer of faith and can get a prayer through, hallelujah, do it. Do it. Because God is calling on us. The strong should bear the infirmities of the weak, hallelujah, until they are strong enough, hallelujah, to run, hallelujah, like a lion, hallelujah. And so, I pray that you, hallelujah, have found comfort in this message, the Lord God. And before I go, hallelujah, I'm just going to pray a simple prayer, hallelujah, glory be to God. And you, hallelujah, have a wonderful night in the Lord. Lord God, almighty Father, we thank you. And we give you the praise and the glory because you're worthy to be praised. Father, you made us and you know all about us, dear Lord God. And Father, we're asking in the name of Jesus, Father, that if you see anything that's within us, dear Lord God, hallelujah, to pluck it out, to annihilate it, dear Lord God, at the root, dear Lord God. For Father, we want to be a sweet-smelling savor into your nostrils. We want to be able, dear Lord God, to walk in the precepts of your ways, dear Lord God. We want to be able, dear Lord God, to whereas we, when we speak, dear Lord God, you hear us, dear Lord God, and you answer our prayers. We want to be able, dear Lord God, hallelujah, for those who don't know you, dear Lord God, to lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. We want to be able, dear Lord God, hallelujah, to be blessed, dear Lord God, so when those who come that are poor in spirit, dear Lord God, we could tell them about the goodness of the Lord. We want to be able, dear Lord God, to be meek in this world, dear Lord God, so that men, women, boys, and girls, hallelujah, will be able, dear Lord God, to not only, dear Lord God, worship you, but entertain uh, the God in us, dear Lord God, so that they themselves, dear Lord God, will come to God, hallelujah, come to you, dear Lord God, God, asking what must I, I do to be saved, dear Lord God. Oh, Father, dear Lord God, you said that the meek will inherit the earth, dear Lord God, so that we can procure sons for you, dear Lord God. Find us worthy, dear Lord God. Hallelujah, dear Lord Jesus, to do the work of the evangelist and to spread the gospel, dear Lord God, and to tell others, dear Lord God, of the word, of the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us be able to give a right now, dear Lord God, word, word dear Lord God, to those who are in need right now in the name of Jesus dear Lord God. And Father, we will forever give you the praise and the glory because you're worthy to be praised, dear Lord God. Those that are in the prisons, dear Lord God, hallelujah, we pray, dear Lord God, not only that salvation come quickly, dear Lord God, but the Father, that they will find peace, dear Lord God, in the midst of a situation, dear Lord God. That they, dear Lord God, will turn from their wicked ways, dear Lord God, and Father, serve you as their Lord and Savior. Those that are free, dear Lord God, and not bound, dear Lord God, but yet still don't know you for the pardon of the of their sins, dear Lord God. We ask the same, dear Lord God, that they find you, dear Lord God, the refreshingness, the refreshness that they need, dear Lord God, for their souls, dear Lord God, so that they themselves, dear Lord God, will ask, what must I do to be saved, dear Lord God? And we'll forever give you the praise and the glory because you're worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I just want to let you know that uh, CTM has uh, been established, hallelujah, in Givelify, hallelujah. It's a mobile app uh, uh, that you can download on your phone. And anytime you want to make a contribution, hallelujah, to Continuing Truth Ministries, all you have to do is look up Continuing Truth Ministries, hallelujah. Press the button, put the amount, hallelujah, and then, hallelujah, it will go straight to the account. And we want to... Uh, also let you know that the Cash App, hallelujah, is still in effect. It's CTM Gathering, Cash App, CTM Gathering. But more importantly, hallelujah, please stay tuned to the weeks to come because we are still, hallelujah, studying, hallelujah, on uh, kingdom mentality. It is so important, hallelujah, that we understand the mind of Christ, hallelujah, kingdom mentality, so that we, hallelujah, can walk in the same footsteps, hallelujah, that Christ, hallelujah, did, hallelujah, because he said that, take my yoke upon me and learn of me, hallelujah, and so that's what we're doing on 
these Bible studies that are coming up on Wednesday night, Golden Nuggets Bible study on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. That's Golden Nuggets Bible study at Wednesday nights. On Monday nights at 7 p.m., we have our prayer line. That number is 518-318-7590. Glory be to God. And so we'll forever give God the praise and the glory. And also um, on Sunday nights, hallelujah, every Sunday night at 7 p.m. And we're also going to be having another tentacle that is coming into CT. Stay tuned to it because it's going to be conversations, hallelujah, in depth, downright, hallelujah, uh, 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 toe-to-toe conversations, hallelujah, with Pastor V, hallelujah, to whereas we're going to be talking about what you're thinking, what you're feeling, hallelujah, with no condemnation, no judgment, hallelujah, because, hallelujah, it is what it is hallelujah and so therefore hallelujah stay tuned to that platform that is coming soon and we'll forever give god the praise and the glory praise the lord hallelujah thank each and every one for being on tonight and continue to be steadfast unmovable always abounding in the word of the lord hallelujah and he will hallelujah fix it for you hallelujah good night